Hello class, I want to go over the expectations for this week with you to make sure everybody is on the same page. As always, I think you should begin by going to your Google Classroom and opening up the Classwork tab. Once the Classwork tab is open, you'll see that we have two new topics posted, the Online Poetry Unit Week, and this is where all of your links and assignment folders will be, and then also the Do Now Online Poetry, and as the week goes on, each day a Do Now topic will open here for you. Most of you haven't had any trouble finding this section. You'll also notice that we have the Poetry Portfolio Now here under our Unit Week 3 heading, and so when it's time to submit your work, you'll submit it into this Portfolio folder. Go now to our weekly calendar plan. If you click this document, you'll see the weekly plan that I have posted for you. This is a suggested pacing guide. Obviously, you can manipulate the days as you see fit. I don't give uh, scores for any of it until Friday of each week. Your final portfolio edits for all six of your poems in this unit will be due on Monday, April 27th, and I'm actually changing that to five. So it'll be five poems, um, taking out the assignment for one of the last poems that I had originally intended um, to give you. So I will also update that on the poetry checklist. But basically in this calendar, you can see everything you need to do for the week. So here you can get a preview of what it is you're going to have to do for your Do Now assignments. And on Monday, it's going to have to do with this poem by Rudyard Kipling called If. And on Tuesday, you're going to reflect on a piece of art from uh, the Met or some other online museum. And then on Wednesday, you're going to read a poem by Maya Angelou. Um, happens to be one of my favorite uh, illustrated poetry books. And on Thursday, um, we'll use a meditation with poetry again, and it's the same one uh, that we looked at last week with Charlie Chaplin, and this time you're going to write a little meditation on it. And then Friday, you'll look again at Donovan Livingston's speech. He was the Harvard graduate um, who gave his commencement address in spoken word, and I want you to reflect on that in regards to um, the graduations being canceled this year. And then your only assignment this week will be to model one poem, and that one poem is Musée des Beaux-Arts. So now let's look at the calendar. Each day you'll complete the activities listed on the calendar. So for today's do, for Monday's Do Now, you'll look at If by Rudyard Kipling, and then you're going to write your own stanza of it, and that'll make perfect sense after you read the poem. You'll create your own lines um, that have to do with If. I'll show it to you so you can see what I'm talking about. He says, If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet don't look too good, nor walk too wise. And he continues with these, if you can do these things mentality. And he ends with, um, you'll be a man, my son. So it's essentially uh, stanzas of guidelines. If you behave like this, you will reap the rewards of respectable um, adulthood. And so each of you will write your own stanza of if you do these things, you will become the person you're most intended to be as well. So let's go back to our calendar. So that's Monday's poem, poem If by Rudyard Kipling, and that's your do now activity. You're just going to write a couple lines of your own and drop it into the comments section in Google Classroom. And that is in Google Classroom right here under Do Now Online Poetry Unit Week 3. The topic will appear there on Monday morning. So the second thing I ask you to do on Monday is to read this poem, and it's Musée des Beaux-Arts, and you will see the poem right here. 
and I just want you to read it. That's what I want you to do on Monday. Then there's also a lecture where I will read the poem uh, to you and explain it. So it'll make a little bit more sense as you're trying to navigate making meaning from that poem. The next thing you'll do is you'll go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, actually, there are going to be a number of choices here for you. And you can go to the Louvre, or you can go to the actual Musée des Beaux-Arts in Ontario, or you can go to uh, the Van Gogh Museum or the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam, and they'll all be linked for you. And um, you will choose a piece of art and you're going to use that for Tuesday morning's activity. So if you want to postpone this a little bit, you can do it on Tuesday, but you're basically just going to go into one of these online museums and choose a piece of art. This uh, checklist was posted the first week of the poetry unit, and um, you can watch it as a reminder. It tells you how to what to include in the portfolio, and there's a walk through explanation of that, but you'll remember that I've taken the sixth poem away. So this week you only have to do one poem and that poem is Musée des Beaux-Arts. And then when you look at Tuesday, you'll see um, that I want you to use that painting. And again, here I say the Met, but you can choose it from a number of different museums, but you'll choose that painting that intrigues you and you are going to um, meditate on it. And this link right here, if you click on it, tells you how to meditate on art. But basically, when you're meditating on art, you'll answer these questions. Name the artwork and the artist. What's your first impression? Does the artwork make you feel anything? Do any details of the art catch your eye? And then write about that experience. And again, those instructions are listed on this link. So if you read the very brief instructions on this link, you'll get um, even better insight into how to meditate on a piece of art so that you can conjure up some kind of identification with it. Then I post Musée des Beaux-Arts again for you. I would like you to read it a second time. And then uh, I'll, this will also be a link to the video of me explaining it again. And then this is a link to instructions for how to write a model of Musée des Beaux-Arts. And so this is what these instructions look like. It's broken down into two columns, but it's six steps. And if you follow my six steps here and you click each link, you will see exactly how to write your model of Musée des Beaux-Arts. So now we will have read it. We will have analyzed it because I will walk you through that in the other video. And then you will have reflected on a piece of art of your own. And then you'll use that piece of art on your own and you'll write a model. And this is the piece of art that I chose to do as an example for you. And so let's go back to our calendar. And here we'll, we will have then um, looked at the example of the model. And so then on Wednesday, um, this is the step-by-step -step graphic organizer. And you'll open this graphic organizer and it tells you step by step exactly what to do in order to model the poem and basically what will happen is you will be writing your model in this column the thing that will become your poem you'll be writing on this side and over here are the instructions and the instructions in most cases are bolded and the poem itself is not in bold on that side so anyhow this is your graphic organizer for how you can write your own model and you'll find that right here on Wednesday, the step-by-step -step graphic organizer. This is an example of me doing it for you. And again, I'm going to walk you through this on each individual lesson, but this is my version of it. I chose Cezanne's painting, The Card Players, and I wrote a poem about losing. So your poem doesn't have to be about losing, but that's what mine was, and that's the painting I chose to write about. And so that's an example, and you'll find that on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, you'll take the information out of your graphic organizer and you will write your first model of um, Musée des Beaux-Arts. And so you'll give it your own title and you'll follow all the instructions in the graphic organizer and you'll make it a good poem. And here you can view an example of the one that I did. So this is my model of W.H. Auden's Musée des Beaux-Arts. And you can read what I came up with. And then this is more instructions for how to make a good model 
um, to include in your portfolio. And these, again, were taken from the lesson on the first week. On Friday, um, you'll look at Donovan Livingston. I already mentioned that. And you'll respond to the idea of graduation. And you'll edit your poem, the one you wrote about Musée des Beaux-Arts. So if you look at Monday through Friday, you'll see each day I give you gradually a little piece of this one poem that we're going to analyze, we're going to uh, create our own version of, and I've given you a graphic organizer and some links to museums so that you can follow along. And I'll update these links so that you have more options than just the Met to look for your art. And as always, if you have any questions, you should consider joining in the Zoom. And you can find our Zoom link right here under the announcements on your stream tab in Google Classroom. So if you want to come into the Zoom conference call on Tuesday morning at 10 or Thursday morning at 10, I will be happy to um, meet you and discuss and walk you through any questions you might have. And if you need a different time, all you need to do is send me a message and ask. I'll do everything I can to help you.